Hi, I'm Samantha McDouglas from TheBridgeTeachers.com. Come look over my shoulder at a defense problem. Let's begin by reviewing the auction. East was the dealer and passed. Our hand opened one heart, showing five or more hearts and an opening hand or better. Our left-hand opponent bid one spade, showing five or more spades and eight to 16 points. Our partner bid two hearts, which in our system is level the fit, showing exactly three hearts and zero to nine points. East now doubled. Not sure what the partnership agreement was on East's double. Probably it shows an intermediate strength hand towards the top of the range for their pass and potentially willingness to penalize two hearts. However, East intended the double. We passed. West bid three spades. And after that, everyone passed. Our partner was on lead and led the two of hearts. The focus of this video is going to be the very first trick and what we would play on the first trick. So I want you to take a moment and think about what you know about the heart suit. What do we think the distribution of the heart suit is? Partner has promised exactly three on the auction. We can see that there are three in dummy. We have five in our hand, which means that West has two. What does partner's lead of the two of hearts say to us? That they have an honor. Which card would that be? The king. Not all partnerships have that agreement, but my agreement with my partners and what I teach is that when we lead a low card, we are leading low from an honor. When partner leads the two, I would have every expectation that they would have an honor. With all that in mind, when declarer plays the eight, what should we play on this trick? We should play the jack. And I know that when you learned bridge, you were taught third hand high. And there is there's a really powerful basis for this saying. And the idea behind it is, is I want to make the trick as expensive as possible for declare. Since they're getting to play fourth, if I just play a low card, I'm letting them win with a card that shouldn't necessarily be winning. I want to play as high as I can to make the trick as expensive as possible. But with all bridge sayings, there are exceptions. There are times when they don't apply. And this is one of them. We do want to play a higher card. We do want to play the jack. But we don't want to play the ace. Why not? There are a couple of reasons for this, and they all revolve around partner has the king. Knowing that partner has the king, I do not have to play the ace to win the trick. I can win the trick with the jack because I know that the jack is going to be the highest heart. So third hand high, I am playing a high card. I'm playing the jack, and I know that the jack is high enough to win the trick. If we go back, it is really important to play the jack. Because if instead of playing the jack, we play the ace, just blindly following our saying, now when we lead back a heart, we have actually made the queen good. And making tricks good for the opponents is not good. Let's look at all four hands. When we make the queen of hearts good for declare, they can use the queen of hearts to get rid of their losing diamond. And now they're going to make this contract. Whatever partner chooses to lead, the declarer can now make the hand simply by drawing two rounds of trump. Crossing over to dummy. Discarding their diamond loser. There's no reason for them to take the finesse because they can get rid of the diamond on the queen of hearts, which we helpfully made good for them. And now they can take the club finesse. And eventually they will lose two trumps, two partners, jack and nine, but otherwise won't lose any other tricks and will make the hand. If we go back, if instead of playing the ace, if we trust the partner has the king, because that's our agreement, we lead low from an honor, partner has to have an honor because they've led low, it has to be the king because we can see all of the other honors, so we play our jack. Now, 
we can play a heart back, taking our two heart tricks without making the queen good. Now partner isn't in the position of having to lead diamonds or clubs and can simply lead the third heart because we can win it. Now Declara can play the ace and the king of spades. Cross over to dummy with the diamond. This time they can't finesse because we didn't break diamonds. Now take the club finesse, but as long as our hand plays low, they can take the club finesse and not lose a club trick, but they are always going to lose the diamond trick and the two spades. Partner will always get a trick with both the jack and the nine of spades because they are playing after declare and declare will also lose the diamond because A, we didn't make the queen of hearts good for them to discard the diamond on and B, we didn't lead diamonds opening up a finesse position for them. If we go back, playing the jack of hearts here is a significantly stronger play than playing the ace. Pay attention to the auction. Pay attention to the signals that your partner plays and be consistent with your signaling. This allows you to win the trick with the jack, which will help you set the hand. Thank you. Would you like to see more of a particular topic? Let us know in the comments. Then be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any.